That's delicious. I appreciate it. Oh, my, Steve! This is America's Best Restaurants. I'm Danielle DeTomo with the ABR Roadshow, and we are in Bluefield, West Virginia today at a place called The Rail Yard. Now, the owner of the spot noticed that the community needed a nice dining place just like this. And here it is, y'all, The Rail Yard, which means we got to go inside and learn more about this awesome spot. Hey Brad, how are you? Doing well, thrilled to have you. Yeah, we're here at the rail yard, y'all. We got a lot of good stuff that's gonna be happening here today. Okay, so Brad, general manager, you've been back in the kitchen for most of your general yep. manager role, and I know the menu has really evolved here at the rail yard. So tell me about that. Yeah, so uh, originally when the place was opened, it was intended to be more of a sort of the watering hole thing. Um, they wanted more of a bar. Um, I jumped on board 2019 and uh, had the privilege of uh, getting an opportunity to really take some creative liberties with the place. Um, it was a place that was sort of stuck in uh, a bit of identity crisis and um, despite all the shortcomings of the pandemic, it was an opportunity for us to really find our uh, niche, niche, yeah. however you pronounce it. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know, so I'm just going with what you say at this point. But uh, no, we uh, really just wanted to kind of uh, you know, find what our staple was, and we so we decided to focus on the burgers and the milkshakes, and uh, the community responded really well. Um, at that time, we took some bigger risks. We were making some uh, almost foot-tall burgers, uh, setting some things on fire, maybe some stuff that uh, made more sense visually than it did uh, on the balance sheets. <laughs> um, so we've toned it back down a little bit, but um, you know, we, we finally found a product that is just sort of an elevated standard American fare mm -hmm. that. Um, folks in this area really like. It uh, really draws in a lot of the traveling customer base we seek. It uh, gives a reason for a lot of the locals to make us a repeat spot. And uh, it's just a product that we're really proud of. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm ready to get started here with the soup, with the food. So me and you, let's head back to the kitchen and get this going. We are back in the kitchen now. Got Brad, got Steve joining me, excited for what they're gonna be making us today. So we're starting with some soup. Is yes. Her. Okay. okay. Tell me about the soup. I'm gonna ask you, Steve, because you're the soup guy. I heard. Uh, when I first got in here, I wanted something of my own to do, and I asked this guy if I could take over soups, and that's what I've done. Been making them for going on three years now. So. Okay, so I need to know more about what soups you make and which ones are a hit here. I do just about anything. I like to do international soups. Like this month, being Black History Month, we got an African curry soup on right now, and uh, I'm about to switch it up next month to a beautiful tomato basil I've been working on. So. Nice. It's going pretty good. Now, which one am I getting? I'll let you try my tomato base. I'm gonna okay. whip that up for you. All right, I'm gonna let you start working on I that. Got you. I'm gonna do that. And Brad, I wanted to chat with you because I mean you've kind of been the manager back here in the kitchen for a while. Is that right? Uh yeah. So okay. um, I took over, I guess, July 2019, something mm -hmm. like that. And uh, um, you know, my wife and I moved back into the area. Uh, I don't know anybody who's ever been to Appalachia that can attest to it. There's something about the mountains that sort of calls you home. Mm -hmm. I had the good fortune of uh, these folks reached out to me on uh, Facebook, of all things, um, oh, wow. and uh, offered me an interview, came in. Uh, they gave me a lot of ownership over the kitchen, and the rest is really history. Um, and it's just been phenomenal, honestly, to uh, be a part of something, you know, in the area that I came from. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, be in a position to uh, have some creative liberty and uh, some things to sort of give back, opportunities to give folks deserving like Steve and yeah. uh, you know the rest of these guys here. We have phenomenal staff that we work with. Okay, well what we're gonna do is we're gonna let Steve get that ready for us. Yeah. And yeah. then I'm gonna try it, because we got all this food coming out right now. Let's smell it real good. So when that's ready, I'm gonna try it. All right, what, what all am I looking at right now? It's a fresh uh, tomato basil soup. I don't like anything that comes out of a jar, so we went straight tomato juice, chopped up tomatoes, a little seasoning, and basil, fresh basil. And look at that steam. Oh, it's sitting hot. <laughs> on, a, on a cold day, or you're feeling under the weather. Yeah. Steve's your go-to person right here. I got it. Oh, yeah.
That's delicious. I appreciate it. Oh, my, Steve! Listen, that has so much flavor to it. I tried to make it like that. I feel like I need like a grilled cheese to like just dip it in now. I was going to like, I might that have to order one of those. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Now I see why y'all wanted to feature these soups. Yeah. This is fantastic. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right. Well, listen, thanks y'all for having us back in the kitchen. Of course. I'm gonna, listen, I gotta get some more of this. We're gonna make some more food and then I'm gonna try more. Join now with general manager Emma and her dad is actually the owner of the rail yard. So Emma, we've had a fantastic time. Oh, Thanks for having yes, us today. Yes, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> listen, we have more food to try, which I wanna start with. We got a burger, some shakes. Oh, so, yeah. ooh, let's let's start with the burger. Okay. Right, tell me about this thing. So it's a cowboy killer. It is our burger with cheddar cheese and bacon. But what's so special about it, it is the fried onions that we make in house uh -huh. on top of it. It is delicious. Definitely a fan favorite. It's a head turner for sure. Girl. When it comes out, everyone's like, what is that? This is about to get um, yeah. real interesting. Oh. I, I might need my powder after this, my Listen, makeup. It is not a good burger unless it's messy, okay? okay. Well, we're, about to get, we're about to get messy. The cowboy killer? Yes, yes. Cowboy sure. killer, y'all. Not me, never. Oh, God. Mmm. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, mm. yes, it is good, isn't it? <laughs> I love everything that's on this burger. Oh yeah, mm. the fried onions are absolutely my favorite. I think that might be what's doing it for me oh, yeah. too. And then mm. there's an A1 aioli that we make mm. that we put on it too. It just pulls it all together. Mm. <laughs> this is what happens when I take big bites. Oh yeah. I'll say chewing for a while. <laughs> These are really good too. Mm -hmm. Is this yep. like y'all's house yep. chips? We have those and we fry those in house. Mm. They're delicious. We love them. It's hard not to just like munch on them constantly throughout your shift. So I may have been doing that when we were yeah. setting up for the interview. Yes. Just saying. It's usually some more on here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. And the shakes. The shakes. I mean, uh, come on now. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. What What's going on with these? Two? Okay. So mm -hmm. this is our rail yard shake. Mm -hmm. um, it looks like it's mixed a little bit together, but usually it's layered. Yeah. It's a Neapolitan shake, so I've the already classic, taken a few yeah. shakes. Yeah. Uh, well, the classics: the chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry, um, topped with house whip and our house-made cheesecake. It is definitely a fan oh favorite. My God. It is so so awesome. good. I don't have a fork, so I'm just going for it. I'm just going for it this way. Yes, no absolutely. Shame. Yeah, so mm. yeah, it's one of our classic. Well, it's a spin on a classic. Obviously, mm. a classic doesn't usually have a cheesecake on top. Mm. But how can you go wrong with a milkshake and a cheesecake? I don't know. You can't. Exactly. Like you never can. <laughs> just, just do it. Yeah. Like it, I mean, it, it's worth it. You'll regret it if you don't get it. Yeah, for sure. you'll regret it if you don't get it. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about the rail yard. It opened in 2014. Your yes. dad opened it because yeah. you saw a need. Yep, there was a for need for mm -hmm. just something to do in town. Mm -hmm. I mean, there wasn't much going on. Um, so really the rail yard opened up as a place for live music, a bar, um, um, more of a late night spot. And mm -hmm. um, there was bar food, just something for people to go and listen to some live music. Mm -hmm. Through the years, we've definitely, uh, obviously we've evolved. Um, they weren't making milkshakes in 2014. Honestly, when mm -hmm. we introduced milkshakes, my dad brought us the idea and we looked at each other and was like, what, what, are you crazy? <laughs> so obviously he, knew what he was talking about, mm -hmm. so. Um, but through the time we've introduced um, entrees and more of a dinner spot, um, and then in really COVID, I mean, crazy enough, COVID was kind of like a turning point for us. We um, said, well, we can't do what we've been doing, so what are we gonna do? We closed down like everyone did, and we started to do takeout and delivery. Um, and that really, we were like one of the only places in town that did it. And so that really opened us up to a lot of different people that wasn't always exposed to us. Mm -hmm. And then we reopened um, and then we decided, well, what, what are we gonna do now? And we looked at what we were really doing good with, which was burgers and our beer. And we introduced a 30 tap line system, which Burn. is awesome. We have a lot of um, craft be breweries from West Virginia. Mm -hmm. And then we have a lot of big names too. But um, so we started with that, and then our burgers. Obviously, we have an extensive burger menu, and then our shake. So yeah. in 2021, we um, closed down and we reopened, and we just kind of reinvented mm -hmm. who we were, rebranded ourselves, and we've just kind of taken off since then. So we just try to do a little bit at a time, yeah, um, and just continue evolving who we are. Um, I don't ever want us to lay flat and just continue to have a new reason for you to yeah. come out every day, um, not just. 
well, we're gonna get the same burger we got mm -hmm, two weeks mm -hmm. ago, but it's it's an experience. It's something new every time you're coming in here. It really is, and you've had, you know, the community has been in here today, yeah. which has been super fun. I've been coming to the rail yard since they opened back in 2015. I live just here in town, so as soon as I heard there was a place with 30 beers on tap and something new to try, I was all about it. So I was over here pretty soon after they opened the doors. My mom started to take me and I just started to like it more and more and more the time, every time I came. We come back for the food, the atmosphere. Um, we know almost all the waiters and waitresses. We know most of the cooks. The food is excellent. Each entree is crafted especially for the flavors. It brings out the flavors. We love the the chef. The key difference is everywhere says they're a family with their workers and they meant it here. Um, if people want to keep up to date with you guys on social media, where's the best places to go? Um, we're on Instagram, the Rail Yard WV, and then obviously Facebook is probably our main source of um, social media right now. Awesome. Oh. Well, Emma, it's been a pleasure yes, getting to know thank you today. You, thank you. And you have an awesome spot here. Yes, Thanks for sharing thank it with you. us. What a place the Rail Yard is right here in Bluefield, West Virginia. We had a blast meeting the community here today. They have such a friendly staff. Food is fantastic and that is why they are one of America's best restaurants. And for the ABR Roadshow, I'm Danielle DeTomo. I'll see y'all next time.